Brian, you might want to look outside. Oh, my God. Pebble in my shoe. Pebble in my shoe. Pebble in my shoe. Nice work, Bry. It is a Whoops. dark and uncertain time. Tensions between nations have been escalating for years, and it seems as though the world is on the brink of another global conflict. The stage is set for World War III, and the consequences of this conflict will be catastrophic for all involved. The trigger for this war is unknown, but it could be anything from a dispute over resources to a personal vendetta between leaders. Whatever the cause, the world is now engaged in a full-scale military conflict that will shape the course of history for years to come. As the war begins, countries mobilize their armies and begin to deploy them to the front lines. The fighting is intense and brutal, with both sides using all of the weapons at their disposal in an attempt to gain an advantage. The skies are filled with jets and drones as both sides engage in aerial combat, while on the ground, soldiers clash in hand-to-hand -hand combat, and engage in heavy artillery exchanges. As the war drags on, the toll on human life becomes increasingly devastating. Cities and towns are reduced to rubble as bombs rain down from the sky, and the death toll continues to climb. The economies of the world begin to collapse as resources become scarce and trade comes to a standstill. As the fighting continues, it becomes clear that this war will not be won easily. Both sides are determined to emerge victorious, and the conflict shows no signs of slowing down. The world becomes a darker and more dangerous place as the fighting spreads to every corner of the globe. In the end, it is impossible to say who will emerge victorious in this conflict. All that is certain is that the world will be forever changed by the horrors of World War III. The cost in lives and resources will be staggering, and it will take years for the world to rebuild and recover from the devastation. As we reflect on the events of this war, it is clear that we must do everything in our power to prevent such a conflict from happening again. We must work towards peace and understanding, and strive to create a world where war is a thing of the past. Only then can we hope to build a brighter future for all of humanity. When it comes to global power, there are a few countries that consistently stand out as the most influential and dominant on the world stage. These countries are often referred to as superpowers, and they are able to wield significant influence over international affairs, trade, and military actions. So, who are the three most powerful countries in the world? First on the list is the United States. This should come as no surprise, as the US has long been considered the world's dominant superpower. It has the largest economy in the world, with a GDP of over $22 trillion, and it is home to some of the most innovative and successful companies in the world. The US also has the most powerful military in the world, with a defense budget of over $700 billion. It has a large and diverse population, and its democratic system of government has made it a leader in human rights and civil liberties. The US also has a vast network of international alliances and partnerships, and it is an important player in global politics and decision-making. Next on the list is China. China has experienced tremendous economic growth in recent decades, and it is now the second largest economy in the world, with a GDP of over $14 trillion. It is a major player in the global economy, and it has a large and growing middle class. China also has a large military, with a defense budget of over $200 billion. It has a long and complex history, and it has a rich cultural tradition, that has influenced many other countries. China is also a major player in global politics, and it has a significant role in shaping the world's future. Finally, there is Russia. Russia, is a country with a rich history and a diverse culture. It has a large economy, with a GDP of over $4 trillion, and it is a major player in the global energy market. 
Russia also has a large military, with a defense budget of over $60 billion. It is a major player in global politics, and it has a significant role in shaping the world's future. Russia has a long and complicated history, and it has a rich cultural tradition, that has influenced many other countries. So, there you have it, the three most powerful countries in the world are the United States, China, and Russia. These countries are influential in their own right, and they have significant influence on the global stage. They are the driving forces behind many of the world's major events, and they have the power to shape the future of the world. As tensions rise and the threat of war looms on the horizon, it is important to be prepared for the worst-case scenario. But how do you prepare for a war? First and foremost, it is important to understand the nature of the conflict and the potential threats that may be faced. This may involve gathering intelligence on the enemy's military capabilities, studying their tactics and strategies, and understanding their political and economic motivations. Once the nature of the conflict is understood, the next step is to assess the strengths and weaknesses of one's own military, and determine what needs to be improved upon. This may include increasing the size and training of the military, acquiring new weapons and technology, and strengthening alliances with other nations. In addition to military preparedness, it is also important to consider the potential impact on civilians. This may involve creating evacuation plans, stockpiling essential supplies such as food and medical supplies, and setting up shelters for those who may be displaced by the conflict. It is also important to consider the psychological impact of war on both military personnel and civilians. Training programs can be implemented to help individuals cope with the stress and trauma of war, and mental health services should be made available to those who may need them. Effective communication and coordination are also crucial in times of war. It is important to establish clear lines of communication between military personnel, civilian authorities, and the general public in order to ensure that everyone is informed and able to respond to any developments or threats. Finally, it is important to be flexible and adaptable in the face of unexpected developments. This may involve developing contingency plans and being ready to alter strategies as needed. Preparing for a war is a complex and daunting task, but with careful planning and a clear understanding of the potential threats and challenges that may be faced, it is possible to be as ready as possible for whatever may come.